video coming on but I do believe I've just got the biggest haul and probably the best haul of my reselling career this weekend. Um, if you just re recap, um, the last few weeks, also probably five weeks now I've been living inside a hotel uh, due to the house got flooded, you've probably seen some of the videos. Uh, I've just had my first instalment of money from my insurance company come through for reversing some of the stuff that's got lost. So I went out this weekend with £400 in my pocket. Um, on, that's that's just my stock level which I replaced and and this is what I got for my money so this is going to be a probably a free parter I'm probably going to put all three parts on the same video I'll come to it nice and quickly but I'm going to show you the first bit now and then I'll show you the second bit and I'll show you the third bit And then back to the first bit. So this is my first bit of the haul. As you probably just saw from the photo, I had a bit of a Disney haul sort of theme going over. Um, I'm going to show you what I pay for. I haven't checked up any rate prices yet of such. I've done a few little prices. Um, and I haven't actually seen if anything works yet. So that's still left to do. But we'll start off from the left of the table and we'll go to the right. So no, no order. We just got picked these up over Saturday and Sunday. Um, sort of on there, so the first one here, it's a Disney mug and plate for 50p, so it is branded sort of Disney, it's not like a really good pickup on its own, but we thought because it's got a plate and that for 50p, we couldn't go far wrong, I'm trying to avoid the rest of the stock because they're everywhere, um, so I still haven't sorted the house out, a soup bowl, 20 pence, just for a soup bowl, I've probably got nearly two complete sets of this going on here, um, the bag was free, um, because it came in a big haul of something else, which I'll show you very shortly. That was hidden inside it. Um, so I found that. It's practically a brand new bag, so I didn't pay for anything for that. Same with this um, horrible science bouncing eyeballs. Again, it was free. It was inside another haul of other stuff I picked up, and that just happened to be in the bottom of the bag when I bought it. So I didn't actually know that was in there. Um, so that was that. A um, couple of trivia... Uh, these aren't Trivia Pursuits, this is Disney Trivia, which is slightly different to Trivia Pursuits. The cards are very, very similar um, of such. Um, it's a metal thing. This one on the top I pay £4 for because it's actually, the tin's a bit ropey, but all the stuff inside is all new and sealed still. You can see it looks very similar to Disney Trivia Suit. I'll show you very shortly, um, but it's actually not. Yeah. So you've got them on, on here. I'm not sure if it is, I need to really look into it, um, sort of on there, because the cards are very, very similar in sort of style. So that's that one, I paid £4 for that one, I paid a pound for that one. Um, I did notice when I set it up it had two of these little um, things missing, a little token, so, but all the cards are there. Then, we've got a Disney Trivia, pay £4 for that, again the box is slightly damaged but it's the cards are sort of brand new but I'm going to split them up, I used, I sold them last time for around about £3 for 25 cards but I've seen the price of them have gone up so I'm going to increase the price accordingly for them Downfall, it's the new Downfall, sort of the more mechanical sort of one there we go, um, that little one there, I paid a pound for that, I sold that before and got I think around about £14, £15 for that maybe more, can't remember um, this is sealed at Drummond Park, best of TV and movies, um, that's sealed, and also at the very bottom, a Doctor Who family board game, again for a pound, which is still new and sealed, but I did notice we got home, the very bottom of the box has been crushed and a bit damaged, but the, but the plastic is actually still sealed. So that's for board games. Um, let's try and move some stuff out of the way. There's ink cannons, tw um, four of these are paid 50 pence each. They sell around about £12, I think, each, um, sort of on there. So, probably sell all four as a bundle for £30 to see what happens. Disney Books paid £2 for the box set. They're all hardbacks inside there, or classic books, five of them. Um, let's go at the back here. So, we've got these three Disney plushes. There was five in the box set. Oh, there's five in the box, but only three of them had, still had their tags on them. So, they've still got their official Disney tags. 
Um, that one on there. And Minnie's got it somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it's on there somewhere. Um, she wouldn't budge. It was three pound each for each of those. Um, she wouldn't budge any lower than that. But I thought was they still sell for around about 15, 20 pounds, maybe a little bit more. I had a quick look. Um, VHS Bush with a remote control. The remote control's got a little bit of rust damage on the controller, so I've just got to fix that. It's got a box though, an instruction manual, and to go with it. Started off a fiver, got it down to three pound. A West Ham T-shirt, still got all its tags, extra large, no insignia on it, but one pound fifty on there. Um, a couple of Furbies, uh, one fifty each. Um, this one is still tagged, so it's still still quite. And um, the 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 person selling to me said this one works really really well. This one doesn't talk as much as that one, but it still works fine. I haven't tested it yet because I've got no batteries inside them. A baby gift set, brand new. Um, this is a female one from the Lion King. Uh, I can't remember her name now, uh, but that's on on there. So that's a gift set. I paid a pound for that. All the Ben 10 figures paid a pound each for everything Ben 10. I uh, haven't tested anything yet. I did notice that there was a little bit of damage on one of them, uh, which I didn't notice when I bought them. Uh, there we go, this one here. So we'll probably have a look at that. The batteries, I need to test these to make sure they work. On there, oh, I'll have my battery sound a bit low. And then finishing off with the last few things a saxophone stand. Not as much money as I thought was inside the stand and held a, um, a clarinet as well. Paid £3 for that and only sell for around about £15. And the last thing on this table is these Kellogg's cereal bowls. I've got a standard cereal bowl here. I would pay 50 pence each for these, but that one looks a little bit ropey inside that. But I didn't realise until we got home that uh, we paid 50 pence for these. And then we noticed when we got home it is Team GB official sponsor. Uh, with the bronze portion, silver portion, gold portion, Kellogg's, very good condition, all three of those. Did not realise, so I'm very chuffed for them, because the Olympics starts in a couple of weeks, so I'm probably going to get a premium price for these, sort of going out. Might sell them as individuals, might sell them as a sort of set of three, yet we've just got to decide. Probably look in front of it, shooting £40 for those on there. Right, so, that's part one. Oh no, there's two more things, I forgot that. Let's move over here. Um... Oh, I just tried to avoid the other stuff, trying to avoid the SNES and the Atari on the floor. Um, got an eye candy bag, paid £2.50 for, for this bag. A little bit of damage on the side, sort of on there. But other than that, it's still eye candy, which is a good good make. And you know I said the stuff I got free of charge? Because I, I bought a giant bag of How Your Body Works. All 35 issues, still sealed. Two binders still sealed, two sticker packs still sealed inside there. And paid £19. They started off at £25. We got it down to £19. And you can see they're all inside there. Um, boxes. Some of these go for £6. Like I'm probably going to look at selling a whole lot. I did check when I was out there to see how much they sell for. And um, someone sold one. Someone's got one listed for £350, not sold, but someone had one sold for. £99 plus £10 shippage, so, and they were opened, so what I'm probably looking at these, I'm probably looking at about £150, I'm going to put these up for £19, £150, plus the free bag and the free horrible science sort of stuff, I'm a little bit of a win situation on there, so that's part one, I'm now going to cut over now to part two. Okay, just like the other one, I'm going to start from left to right and just work my way through it nice and nice and quickly and tell you where I paid for it um, on there itself. So starting over, this is the media sort of section bar, the one little bit of Lego and a Zumba sort of game over there because I've just picked these up today. I don't have any room on the table for the last lot, so I just put them onto these ones. But I just, just went out on a Spock find. I uh, picked up a Nerf gun, which I'll show you, which you just see um, very shortly in lot three. But um, they also had this there, set number 7678, um, £10. Been built once, stickers never applied. So, um, so the stickers are still on this transfer sheet and very good condition. So I don't know if it's fully complete yet, just took their word. As for now, I opened it up and had a quick look at instructions and that sort of stuff. Um, but this sells for around about £25, £30, sort of on there. So nice little markup on that. I'll just move that out of the way. So we can see the rest of it. 
I went for a little bit of a fitness sort of bundle sort of stuff for the wee stuff this week. Um, got a wee active, everything inside there, every very, very good condition. £2.50 for the wee active with all the parts. So make sure when you do buy this, you get the leg a little bit inside there, and it's also wee board compatible. And Zumba, again, I paid £3 for Zumba. Um, again, make sure you've got the Zumba belt and the stretchy sort of stuff inside there when you're going to get that. I sold this before, I think I got about 15 for that, I got about 15 for that when I sold that. And again, another 15 for this when I sold it before. So we shape, this is a camera which sort of takes photos of your body and tells you how you should look and that sort of stuff and what you need to work out. I thought it was a classic little bundle on there. And to finish it off, I found a Wii Fit board you sort of hidden underneath this um, for £3. Got the Wii Fit board and upstairs my stores. I've also got a Wii Fit Plus. So I looked at this, I thought, hang on, Wii Fit Plus with a Wii Fit board, with the zoom, with the um, Wii shape and the active. Probably not the Zumba, because probably that's the same as those ones, but a nice little bundle for, I'm going to ship for about 40 quid, 40, 50 quid, and see what happens sort of on there. Um, Rock Band paid 150 for this, but on a previous haul, ages ago, um, I also picked up a guitar a while ago but with no game. I paid £2 for the guitar, so £3.50 in all. And I'm probably going to get about 20 quid for that. Um, these ones here, GameCube games. Um, they wanted two games for a fiver, but they only had three games left. So I said, well, I'll give you a fiver for all three of them. Um, I'll get the £5 back just for Shrek 2. All very good condition, so Shrek 2. Um, Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Never heard of it. And... Wrestling Mania 8. Yeah, so no, I don't really know too much about them at the moment, but I know my money's safe with Shrek um, sort of on there. Um, now on to the CDs. Um, my wife managed to find a whole collection of now 78, oh, now 76, right through to in a straight run to 84. 25 pence each in immaculate condition inside there. No damage to K CDs, perfect condition. So quite happy with that one. Um, don't know what this was, but I found this on a Saturday. It was new seals, only wanted a pound for it. Um, the, the only way is Essex, Series 1 and 2. Um, it says ITV2 on there, but you look at the side, it says Channel 4. So I'm not really sure where that was aired on. The Simpsons Season 6, 9 and 10. Paid a pound each for all those. Um, maybe hold them all out or maybe sell them separate. I haven't really decided yet. But some of them, season 10 is going for like £10 on its own. So might might look at that. Euphoria. So I've paid 50p for that one. Remember, I think Ben, have, no, not Ben, Nick, having quite a few Euphoria selling well. So we thought we'd get that hold of that one. Um, then this one over here. The Friend, season 1 through to 10. All in very good condition by a couple of CDs which have a few scratches. And they wanted £10 for all this. I managed to get them down to £8 yeah, for all 10 seasons. I'm very, very happy with that. Um, Average is selling about 40 quid, 40, 50 pounds sort of on that one. So a good sort of sale. On my computer themes, dance map for the PS2. I've got loads of dance games always fluking around, so I usually put them with that. I sometimes get about 20 quid for these with the dance mat and that. So on there. I've got one, this at the moment, remote control for £30. My £27 has got about five watches, so I know there's interest in them. I've started collecting these. I've got loads of these um, VTEC Smile computers now. Not None of them are listed yet. I was going to get a whole load of them. This one's got a full load of games sort of on there. So and there, This is my first orange, so I've got blue, pink and orange now. So nearly ready, for, just got to test them all now. Get ready for a listing on there. We've got the Zumba. Um, 14p, this is, I found this, I forgot I had it, so I thought I might as well list it to my listings today. That was part of my giant hauls I paid, £25 for 200 games, so it worked out about 14 pence. It's all new inside there, even one of them is still sealed, but there's one CD missing, CD1. Yeah, so I've only got three CDs and the, and the dumbbells. Some PS2 SingStar, paid a fiver for all the games and two of the mics. And then my wife found another two mics for 25 pence. Each is trying to sell them for karaoke machines. Uh, but we got them from there. And then I got a bit of a bundle of £5 for some other accessories. So a PS2 controller, a PS2 remote control and sensor, and PS2 buzz. I recently sold 
two PS3 Buzz games with a PS2 Buzz for £28 uh, plus postage. So that's why I picked them up, so I know there's some value in those with the PS3 games. And the last thing, the creme de creme for this one is the SNES and Atari. Um, the SNES, originally I wanted £50 each for them. Um, we got it down to £40. There was four games when I saw it, but I went to the bank to get some more money. He bagged it all up. And um, I had a quick look in the bag, and it looked like the games were there. And I found out the game which I wanted was Mario Kart wasn't there. So when I got back, it looks like he conned me, gave me everything all packed up, but took out the expensive game to sell for something else. But I've only got All Stars, which is about a £15 game. World, Master, uh, World, World Masters Golf and Sensible so no, International Superstar Soccer. Um, the controller is dis discoloured, but it's come with two controllers as well, which are also discoloured. So I'm going to see if I can clean it up, but I think I can still probably hit around about £80, £90, maybe. So that's to see what happens. I've seen myself for that sort of price in that condition as well. And then the Atari. So this is the uh, Atari video computer system with all the different inputs, black and white, colour. Difficulties, um, all the games select, quite a few games with instructions. So we've got Pac Man, pay 35, sorry, pay 35 pounds for the Atari, Yaris Revengers with the instructions, Missile Command, Centipede, it's an Atari instruction manual. Then we've got Air Sea Battles, Video Olympics, then we've got Brain Games with the paperwork, with the control with the manuals, Space Invaders with the manual, and Defender with the manual. So Nice little haul there. I reckon again about another ninety pounds, maybe a bit more, because I've got a lot of games. It's got three. It's got two, two of these joysticks, one of these joysticks, and it's also got two of these control pads as well. So lots of stuff on there. So that's part two. I'm now going to switch over to part three. Okay, so this is my final part. This is my Nerf haul. So I had a quite a good Nerf haul this week. Uh, I paid a little bit too much for some things, but what I'm going to do is I'm bundle all that together. But I done really well with this early on today with Spock. This is what I went out to buy before I found that Lego at the same time. But again, we'll start from left to right. So, all these Nerf guns are all round about £3 each. Some of them were £2.70 um, when you worked them out. But nearly all of them I got in one massive bundle. I got 14 guns from one seller for £42 um, sort of on there. And the others I just picked up two dregs as I was going around the car boot sales on the next day so so we've got four strong arms all, all of them have been tested this one on the top um, the barrel sometimes gets a bit stuck so you need to measure so I'm going to sell this one separate but the other three strong arms I'm going to probably sell as a group and, um, and what I've done I've gone out to China and I've bought loads of um, darts so I will be putting the right amount of darts for each of these strong arms will have ten darts inside it now, all of the yellow ones We'll have I'll just grab them over here. Oh, sorry, um, I've got loads of the, the yellow ones as well. So these are all going to go in with the Mavericks, I do believe, what they're called. Yep, the Mavericks RV6. Yeah, or Rev, Rev6. And um, so I've got f one, two, three, four, five of those. I think one of those is slightly sticky every so often, so I'll probably put that one separate and I'll put make two pa pairs up for that. Um, I'm looking around about 20, 25 pounds for a pair. Uh, again, 25 to 30 pounds for a sort of pair sort of on there. That's what I'm going to start at. And then we've got the electric um, barricade. I've just got a temperature message on my phone. Um, to barricade. At the moment, I need to just sort out the the, le the electrics on here. They've got a little bit of corrosion, so I just need to fix that before I test it. Um, sort of on there. I've got this very strange one. Um, this one here fires five bullets at once, but instead of cocking it and getting, you've got to pump this thing down here. Um, you've got to, uh, you pump it until you get a little pop, then you squeeze the trigger, and all five go off at the same time. So a bit of a strange. Don't have can't. If anyone knows anything about this one, let me know, please. I'm struggling to find information. Um, these two here, I paid eight pound for the pair. No, not eight pound. I only bought two guns. Uh, oh yes, it had one of these as well. Yeah, he wanted nine pound, um, three pound each, and in the end I got it for eight pound. 
sort of um, these two and one of the one of the Mavericks. Uh, then the Nerf Dart Tags, um, again, quite a good little one. Brake Barrel, another three pound on here, all fully working. Uh, this one on here, I don't really know the name of it, but it holds three darts, and when you squeeze the trigger, you've got a little red dot, what comes out as well. A laser, the Tri, the Trio X3, sometimes it fires two, sometimes it fires one, sometimes it fires all three. So a bit of a random sort of one when it fires. And then finally, picked up the Havoc. Uh, I saw this th this morning uh, on Spock. It was, the, it was listed as a tenant. All it had was a picture of the gun and this separate. Didn't mention anything at all about ammunition or the belt. When I got there, found out it was, also had there we go, the ammo belt and all 25 darts um, or yeah, we're inside it as well. So I literally sold one of these only last week, maybe, maybe the week before, for forty pound. Um, that went over. To, that went overseas. That was without the tripod, and that was a mixture of different darts. So this one's with a tripod, better condition than the last one. So I'm looking at about fifty for this one, sort of on there. So ten pound and fifty. I'm very happy with that. Yeah. So um, don't really keep you too long. I said that was one of my biggest epic hauls I've ever got and I'm hoping to see very very good return into those sort of things on there. Um, it's been fun buying this, yeah, it's quite nice going out without much cash sort of knowing to do it so I might probably do that a few more times. I used to go around with it's like £100 and see what I could get, going around with £400 it's far different and um, sort of outlay to, the, um, outlay to the car boot sales. That was only four car boot sales I went to, two on Saturday, two on Sunday and a couple of Spock pickups sort of on there um, I hope to see you again if you like it click like subscribe if you're already subscribed I've got a load more videos coming out very shortly my sales videos um, I'm now going to be coming out I'm going to do them every two weeks regularly so um, on the 15th of each month I'll be putting it out on probably on the 16th so like 15 days so I'll be doing that I'll be starting hopefully the next couple of days and be putting the 1st of July through the 15th of July then I'll be making the 15th through to the 30 or 31st depending on how many days of the month we've got um, sort of on there itself, but thanks again, and I'll see you later on. Bye for now.